Hi, BB. Pardon the way I look. You know, I've been handling a situation all morning and why I'm doing this in Snapchat. But I just wanted to let you know how much I've been thinking about you and the babies all the time and how we are so proud of you for handling all this with so much grace and strength. Um, not anybody can just sit in the hospital all day and worry and you have been a rock star. I'm so proud of you. I hate that you didn't feel good enough today for uh, me to come visit, but not that I don't, not that I don't get to see you, but that you didn't feel good enough for it. I just want you, it hurts my heart that you don't feel good all the time. But every day that you keep those babies in, they just get stronger and bigger and you'll get to hold them in your arms soon. So we just want to you know, send you some love today and some encouragement that you can do this, that you've got this, and that we think about you and we love you. And we don't always want to pepper you with questions and bother you because we know that you're resting. But know that we are always thinking about you and praying for you and the, and the babies and Matthew and your mom. And we know how hard this is. But you've got it. The doctors got it. The Hadley and Parker are going to be so beautiful and healthy when they get here. Hopefully, and if not, then the doctors have got you and they're going to be perfect. And before you know it, they're going to be screaming and crying at home. And you just love on them and squeeze them. And um, then you'll just get to start the rest of your life with them. So we just wanted to send you so much love today. And, and now I'm just rambling. So I'm going to say goodbye and I love you. And hopefully, maybe if you feel better later next week, I can come down, I can take a half day and come see you after work. Just whatever. You let me know. You know I don't work. I'll talk to you soon. Love you. Hey, Dana. I'm in the Burger King drive through um, getting Ben food because he's still in guest room prison. And I look terrible. Anyway, I wanted to let you know that you're a rock star and you're doing so good. We're so proud of you. You are going to be the best mom. These babies are going to be here before we know it, and it's all going to be behind you soon, girl. We love you so much. Stay strong. Mwah. Hey, Dana. I just wanted to say hey and let you know that I'm thinking about you. I think about you all the time. Um, I'm so proud of you and how well you're handling this. Hopefully, Hadley and Parker will cook for a little bit longer, you know, but... Before you know it, they'll be here, and they'll be home and happy and healthy. And I know that you're going to be a great mom because you're already being a great mom because I know that this isn't easy. So I just want to let you know I love you, and I'm proud of you, and I can't wait to see those babies, and I can't wait to see you again. Mwah. Hey, Nancy. I just wanted to send you a quick little message and let you know that I'm thinking about you. I know that you're probably going stir-crazy and a little bit bored but also not bored in the hospital because people keep coming in and interrupting anything that you possibly could be doing that resemble dress so um i hope you'll get some sleep and some good rest for these kids get here i want to tell you how proud i am of you for how well you've handled all of this you've been such a trooper girl and i know that there is no way that the good lord to give anybody twins that can handle it better than, than you will because so far you have already proven that you can handle this and you're doing great and I love you and I hope to get to visit a sweet baby so soon but not not real soon like let's, let's, let's keep them in a few more days but I can't wait to see them and what they look like and I can't believe that you and I are going to have three teenagers between the, the two of us at some point. <laughs> it's a little terrifying if we remember what you and I were like when we were teenagers. Maybe they'll be just as sweet and good as we were. I love you, girl. I'm so proud of you. Hang in there. So, if my phone had enough memory, my plan was to create a play where I pretended to be each of your family members and the elite. Um, but since I don't have enough um, phone memory, which you're probably glad about, uh, we'll just stick to the basics. Number one is that I love you so much and I'm here for you and I think about you constantly. Number two is that I am praying so hard for peace and comfort and safety and just for wisdom on the doctor's parts and that um, that you're 
you feel supported and loved and you just know that we are all here for you. We're rooting for you. You've got a lot of prayer warriors in your corner. Um, and we're not going to stop praying. And number three is I'm so excited to meet Parker and Hadley and for them to have a friend with baby Walton. It's just such an exciting time. Aside from everything else, I am so excited. Um, I love you, Dane, and I cannot wait to see you soon. Hey Dane, I look like a crazy person downtown on 2nd Avenue talking to my phone. Um, I hope you're feeling better. We love you. We wish you could come, we could come visit, but want you to be comfortable and keep those babies in. Um, please keep us posted. Let us know what else we can do. Can't wait to see you, Hadley and Parker, but not today or tomorrow. Okay, love you. Seems the more we talk